Hello everyone. Today I bring you a story that's both shocking and unsettling. Centered on alleged election fraud from Philadelphia, the narrative unfolds around a heated debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Aired on ABC News, this isn't your run-of-the-mill media story. What I'm about to share involves serious accusations of rigging, manipulation, and a scandal that has the potential to shake the public's trust in our electoral process. Could it be that what ABC News was caught doing is far more significant than we initially thought? Even a prominent Clinton advisor is calling for an investigation, a move that might surprise some, considering the perception that Trump came out on top during the debate. Across social media platforms, especially Twitter and various news outlets, a narrative has been pushed that Kamala Harris won the debate by a significant margin. Some assert that any rational, intelligent person would agree that Harris was the clear victor. However, these claims seem to contradict not only what many Americans felt, but also what some data is showing. It's easy to dismiss Trump as narcissistic. After all, his critics often paint him as someone who can't handle negative press. But is there more to this than meets the eye? Let's delve into the facts, or at least what we know so far. Reuters conducted a focus group with undecided voters to discern who, if anyone, benefited from the debate. The results were quite telling. A whopping 60% of these undecided voters said they now plan to cast their ballot for Donald Trump compared to only 30% leaning toward Kamala Harris, while the remaining 10% were still unsure. These voters, who were previously on the fence, appeared to lean heavily in Trump's favor following the debate. By simple arithmetic, Trump won by a large margin, 60% to 30%, that's double the support Harris received. Given these figures, it's hard to argue that Trump didn't win the debate. Trump himself was quick to point out what he perceived as bias in the debate's moderation. According to him, the moderators from ABC News were far too involved, often cutting him off or interrupting his points. Trump argued that he wasn't just up against Harris. He was battling three people on stage. His frustration was palpable. Following the debate, Trump remarked that when a prize fighter loses, the first thing they say is, I want a rematch. And in his view, this is exactly what Kamala Harris did. She reportedly asked for another debate almost immediately after the first one ended, a move Trump interprets as an admission of defeat. In Trump's words, the polls tell the real story. He beat Kamala Harris, as he decisively pointed out in the debate. Harris, he claimed, should spend more time reflecting on her actions over the past few years rather than trying to secure another debate. There won't be a third session, Trump declared, signaling his unwillingness to engage further unless absolutely necessary. Despite Trump's confidence, the real issue at hand may be the alleged behind-the-scenes manipulations orchestrated by ABC News. But before we delve further into these allegations, I want to hear from you in the comments. Type Trump if you think Donald Trump won the debate and Kamala if you believe Kamala Harris came out on top. Your thoughts matter and I'm curious to see where the majority stands. Now back to the core of this scandal. According to a whistleblower from within ABC News, Harris's campaign was provided with sample questions that ended up being the exact questions posed during the debate. Even more alarming, the whistleblower claims that Harris was given assurances that Donald Trump would be fact-checked during the debate, while she would not face the same scrutiny. If true, this paints a disturbing picture of election interference, with a major media outlet potentially favoring one candidate over the other. This isn't just a case of bias. This would be outright cheating, constituting election interference on a grand scale. According to these allegations, Donald Trump was essentially led into a trap, with Harris armed with foreknowledge of the questions. Behind the scenes, there may have been a team crafting the debate questions specifically designed to provoke Trump, with carefully timed follow-up questions aimed at pushing him into defensive or angry responses. Even more concerning, Trump was cut off mid-response multiple times while Harris received what can only be described as softball questions with no challenging follow-up. The whistleblower claims that Harris's team knew about the questions in advance, but they were framed as practice questions to avoid suspicion. Yet these exact questions were posed by ABC moderators David Muir and Lindsay Davis during the live debate. If true, this means Harris had a strategic advantage walking into the debate, fully prepared for what would be asked, while Trump faced a hostile and biased environment. Even more damning, the whistleblower alleges that Harris's campaign was given a guarantee that Trump would be fact-checked multiple times throughout the debate. And that's exactly what happened. Trump was fact-checked seven times, while Harris was fact-checked zero times despite making over 20 verifiable false statements. You can fact-check this for yourself. It's all out there. 
Harris wasn't challenged on these points. While Trump was repeatedly put on the defensive, if these allegations are true, ABC News has lost all credibility as an impartial news organization. This would amount to a rigging of the electoral process, with millions of Americans potentially being disenfranchised by a biased and corrupt media. People have the right to cast their vote based on fair and transparent information, not manipulated narratives or rigged debates. One of the most significant voices calling for accountability in this situation is Mark Penn, a former advisor to Bill Clinton. Penn has publicly stated that he believes these allegations warrant a formal investigation. According to him, the evidence he's seen and the people he's spoken to suggest that these claims may very well be true. Penn's call for an investigation lends significant weight to the accusations given his experience in political strategy and his long-standing ties to the Democratic Party. The whistleblower in question must be protected at all costs and encouraged to come forward, as this issue is monumental. If the allegations are true, it would mean that ABC News deliberately manipulated the debate process to favor Kamala Harris, essentially engaging in election interference. This isn't just a matter of unethical journalism. It's a direct attack on the integrity of our democracy. When a media outlet, which is supposed to serve as a neutral watchdog, actively skews debates to benefit a particular candidate, it compromises the very foundation of free elections. What we're talking about here isn't just bias or favoritism. It's systemic rigging that can alter public opinion, change the course of elections, and rob voters of a fair process. If ABC News has been feeding questions to Kamala Harris during debates, the question arises, what else are they doing behind the scenes? This shakes the public's already dwindling trust in major media institutions, which are supposed to inform, not manipulate. If they can rig a debate, can we trust any of their reporting? This is exactly why the whistleblower's claims need to be thoroughly investigated, and the individual must be protected from any retaliation. Mark Penn, a respected political strategist calling for an official investigation signals how serious this situation is. For someone like him to demand such action means there is potentially more beneath the surface than what we see now. If the investigation proceeds and finds truth in these allegations, it could spell serious legal and reputational consequences for ABC News. But it's crucial that people maintain pressure on this issue. Without public demand for accountability, there's always the risk that the story will be buried or swept under the rug. Now let's not forget what's happening with Donald Trump. Despite relentless attacks from both the media and political elites, each hit only seems to strengthen his base. Every charge brought against him, every attempt to undermine him solidifies the support he has garnered. It's becoming clear that the establishment fears what Trump represents. His growing movement threatens their grip on power, and they're desperate to maintain control. However, if history is any indicator, the truth will eventually come out. And when it does, the ramifications will reach far beyond the media. The entire political system, which has allowed such interference to happen, will be forced to reckon with its role in this manipulation. Meanwhile, President Biden's recent actions have left many scratching their heads. While in Pennsylvania, he engaged with a Trump supporter and even put on a Trump 2024 hat, which has raised eyebrows. The White House has claimed it was a gesture of bipartisan unity, but many believe there's more to the story. Some speculate that Biden harbors resentment towards Kamala Harris and Barack Obama, perhaps feeling sidelined by them after his time in the White House. His decision to wear the hat and take pictures with it seems odd, especially since it's hard to imagine he would have done something like that if he were still running against Trump. It's a strange moment that doesn't quite make sense, but it's adding fuel to rumors about tensions within the Democratic Party. Switching gears to pop culture, Taylor Swift's recent involvement in encouraging voter registration has made waves. Her push for people to visit vote, Gov reportedly generated 337,000 visits in just 48 hours. With her immense following of 280 million people globally, it's no surprise that she's a significant influence, especially for Kamala Harris, whom she supports. But let's not get carried away. Many of Swift's followers aren't eligible to vote in the United States, and even within her fan base, there's dissent over her political endorsements. While some experts say Swift's influence might sway younger voters, I think it will ultimately be a fleeting moment. Her endorsement may make headlines, but it's unlikely to have a lasting impact on the election. Lastly, with the election approaching in just two months, it's hard not to notice the sudden dip in gas prices. While the media will likely claim it's due to market forces, the timing is suspicious. Gas prices have dropped by about 20 cents per gallon recently, just in time for the election. 
It feels like a strategic move designed to placate voters, as if they're trying to smooth things over right before people head to the polls. Coincidence? I don't think so. It seems like a calculated effort to make things appear better than they are as Election Day approaches. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to click the like button. Let's make sure the truth gets out. Let us come together in prayer, humbly seeking God's presence. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne of grace with reverent hearts, deeply aware of the challenges our nation faces. In a world clouded by confusion, division, and deception, we earnestly seek your divine guidance. Lord, you are the light that dispels all darkness, and we ask that you shine your truth upon every situation currently unfolding within our country. May every hidden work of corruption, deceit, and manipulation be brought into the light, and may justice flow like a mighty river throughout our nation. We pray for the restoration of integrity in our institutions, in our media, our government, and in every sphere of influence. Father, we lift up those courageous individuals who have chosen to stand boldly for what is right, even at great personal risk. We especially pray for whistleblowers and all those who have chosen the difficult path of truth, integrity, and righteousness. Cover them with your divine protection, Lord. Grant them unshakable courage and unwavering strength to stand against wrongdoing without fear of reprisal. Surround them with legions of your angels, safeguarding them from any harm, retaliation, or oppression that may come their way. Lord, we also ask that you grant discernment to the citizens of this nation. Open our eyes to see clearly, and help us recognize when we are being misled or manipulated. Give us hearts that seek after your truth above all else, rejecting lies and embracing righteousness. Equip our leaders with divine wisdom as they navigate these turbulent times. May those who investigate and pursue justice be led by your hand, and may their work be thorough, impartial, and guided by a deep commitment to truth. We specifically lift up our former President Donald Trump to you, Lord. In the face of immense opposition, scrutiny, and challenges, we ask that you provide him with clarity of mind, strength of spirit, and endurance. Protect him from false accusations and the arrows of those who seek to undermine him. Guide his steps in your ways, O Lord, and let your divine will be accomplished in his life and in his role within this nation's history. Above all, Lord, we fervently pray for healing, peace, and unity to sweep across our land. Mend the deep divisions that have fractured communities, families, and relationships. Help us as a nation to turn back to you, trusting in your sovereignty and acknowledging your ultimate plan for our country. In these uncertain times, may we find our hope, our security, and our direction in you alone. We lay all of this before you, trusting in your infinite wisdom and power. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.